Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul video for you guys. Um, I ordered a bunch of skincare and foundations from the company, um, the Abnormal Beauty Company, which is owned by a parent company called Desium, I believe. But before I show you everything I bought, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I post new beauty related videos all the time. And if this is something that you're interested in, consider hitting the subscribe button so you can be alerted when I post new content. So I purchased eight products from their line. I purchased six um, skincare products and two foundations. I'll probably end up purchasing more products from their line later on to test out, but I don't like to combine too many ingredients on my skin at once in case I have a reaction. I want to know what caused it first. So here's a little background information about the brand. So The Ordinary is a Canadian-based company that um, falls under the umbrella of a company called Desium. Desium owns several skincare brands, but The Ordinary is the least expensive line of all their products. The idea behind this brand is they can make their products so affordable because they leave out a lot of like the marketing and the packaging and um, they also focus on individual ingredients. The entire line is also vegan and cruelty free. So let's get into these boxes first and I'll show you what I bought. Um, okay, so the first thing I bought is their um, coverage foundation. So I first became aware of this foundation when I heard Wayne Gauze talking about it. And of course, at the time, there was like a waiting list of like 25,000 people. And then of course, when I tried to get on that waiting list, I guess the company became overwhelmed and they stopped taking requests. Basically, they had a link on their page that said, um, pick the color you want, we'll let you know when it comes in. So I did, I gave them my information, sent it out completely forgot about it until a week ago I get an email from them that said we're restocked. So I bought um, a bottle of their full coverage and I also bought the serum foundation which um, I guess it's a light coverage. Yeah it is, it's light coverage. So I'm excited to try both these out. So these are ridiculously inexpensive. They're $6.90 Canadian. I'm not sure what that translate into American, but it probably, you're probably looking at about $6 American. Um, so I will be testing and reviewing these out over the next few weeks and have some results for you guys hopefully soon. Um, so the next thing I ordered is the organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. Apparently this is good for dry skin, it has healing properties, it's good for repairing sun damage and discoloration. It also is supposedly good for reducing fine lines and wrinkles and hydrates dry skin. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. I have hyper, you can't see really see it in this light under this foundation, but I have hyperpigmentation on my cheeks and I have slight hyperpigmentation on my forehead. And of course, it stands out when I'm not wearing makeup because I'm so fair. So we'll see if this can help. Actually, I'm more eager to see if this can help out with some of my dry skin issues. I don't know what's been going on, but I mean, I always have dryness in my chin area, but it just seems to be, um, I don't know, it just seems to be acting up a little bit more than I'm used to. Hopefully this can help me out in that department. The next thing I bought is the vitamin C suspension um, plus hyaluronic acid spheres. Um, this is the most powerful vitamin C formula that they offered. Um, apparently this is also good for um, diminishing dark spots and um, brightening the complexion. Um, so the next thing I bought is the advanced retinoid uh, 2%. Um, this is actually going to be the first time I have ever used any sort of retinol on my face. And it's not that I'm against it or anything, it's, I, I guess up until recently I have focused more on prevention rather than skincare treatments on my face, if that makes sense. And when I say prevention, I mean things like uh, making sure I don't leave the house without sunscreen on my face. Um, trying to drink enough water, get enough sleep, stuff like that. 
but I've reached the point now where there are certain things that are just, they're starting to irritate me a little bit more. I have some fine lines around my eyes and I also have a little one on my forehead and some, like obviously some smile lines. But this can reduce them and does what it says it's going to do, then I'm willing to give it a chance and try it out. Um, the next thing I purchased is the Matrixil 10% plus Hyaluronic Acid formula. So this is an anti-aging peptide formula that targets fine lines and wrinkles. This, the next thing I purchased is the Magnesium Phosphate um, 10%. Um, this is a brightening hydrator with a stabilizing vitamin C derivative. The reason why I purchased so many vitamin C and brightening is because I'm not really sure what's going to work at this point, if any. So I want to be, I'm not going to be using, off. obviously, I'm not going to be layering vitamin C upon vitamin C. I'm going to try out different things at different times and um, maybe some things will work for me, maybe they won't. But um, this one is slightly weaker than this one. The first one I bought is 23%. This one is slightly weaker at 10%. So, and the last thing I bought is the uh, lactic acid, hyaluronic acid formula, 5% um, lactic acid, 2% hyaluronic acid. This is a mild um, peeling exfoliation treatment, which I'm a little nervous about because I can, I don't typically have sensitive skin. This would be the area that would react if I were to have a reaction. So this product is designed to help with uneven tone, texture, and fine lines. So I'll be playing around with these products for about six to eight weeks before I have a final review for you guys. It could possibly take longer, um, only because the website recommends that you don't layer any more than three ingredients at a time on your face, which makes sense. Otherwise, it can either cause skin irritation or it just doesn't absorb into the skin at all. So that is it for this haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know, or consider hitting that subscribe button so you can be alerted when I post new content. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!